Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. Hi. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to like match the action. That's kind of why I was chasing your action. But anyways, yeah, now this is the real action. What is good with you? How you feeling this lovely, lovely day? My name is Claire with a K. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you why it's probably with a K later. But how you feeling? You're welcome back to another episode of Claire's Deck, the pod. I'm still trying to get used to this because mm, you can hear my voice very, very raspy. Uh, feeling so good. Anyways, today I'm hanging with somebody absolutely talented. Now. Let me tell you a little backstory. I knew this young man when we were in like high school. I'm saying high school like high school abroad. Secondary school. He'd be my senior that time. Now, the next time I now saw this boy, I saw him on TV. I was like, ah. So, I know, I don't know this person. The young man was on Netflix. And show Max. I was like, okay, okay. Oh, you're big, you're big, you're big. <laughs> he was on this film and he's an exceptionally talented actor and producer. I'm hanging with Kelvin T. Solomon. Actually, Kevin T. Solomon. Kev. Kevin. Kevin. How yeah. are you? What's good? I'm okay. How are you? I'm well. I'm looking awesome. I don't look like that. Junior, let's wear pinna for that. Do you know that every time I think about you, you're always that pinna for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I've never hey, worn pinna hey, for in my life. You, she, she wore pinna for, don't mind this girl. And she looked cute in this. Yeah. And then tell you, I. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that to be the answer. But how are you feeling? I am well. I am well. Thank you. For Yo, having so, me. you know, in high school, like, I always called you Kelvin. It's today that you told me it's actually Kevin. To this day, I What's still fight a lot of. People. What is the difference? The difference is the L. After we did research, which though, one is on the Bible? Name, I don't even know which one is the Bible. <laughs> but apparently, um, Kevin mm -hmm. is actually an Irish name, mm. and it means handsome by birth. So yeah, I'm handsome. That's why handsome by birth. Or just my handsome. mother looked at me and was like, "This boy is too handsome. Let's call him Kevin." But Are then you? I actually fight a lot of people because on the streets of this place we call Lagos, Nigeria, everyone used to Kelvin. I have to fight yeah, have people to that no, it's Kevin. There's no L. Like they, they, my driver's license has Kelvin. So today <laughs> I'm still angry with. The guy that ran because he saw my name. I wrote Kevin in the form and everything. He saw him, I was like, maybe he made a mistake. Mm, type put the type L for him. Oh I was like, who makes mistakes spelling their <laughs> own name? Like, my name is Kevin, but hey. At least yours is even like better than mine. Like yours is actually Kevin. Mine, I just spell it the K for a fizzy, and I still drag people for it because the actual spelling of my name is with a C. But I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> why? It's my stage name. You're just stressing people out still. <laughs> Confusing them because on my documents it's a C though. So if you're signing a check, please put a C. The C, C you yeah, you are that's on board. that's your problem. So Kevin, let me tell you Kevin. Let me tell you how the show is gonna go. I'm gonna ask you random hypothetical questions, but okay. you have to answer with an open mind. Alright. What Let's show as by superstar actor you get? <laughs> what show would you like if you had to be trapped in a TV show for a month? And who would you be if you were a character? Can it be any sh any show? Any show. Hollywood, Nollywood. Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood. Can it be animated? Yes. Hmm. Show that I would be trapped in. Some of, some of the nerds are going to be like, yeah, this is a fellow nerd. I would anime, pick, anime, yeah, yeah, anime. yeah. Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. What character would you be? Erin Yeager. Ah, I've heard of Erin Yeager. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not a bad person, no. mm. but the way Erin gets away with some of the bad things he does, yeah, I right. feel like, mm, like, I wonder what it would be like to actually get away with genocide mm. and stuff like oh that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Please, oh, I'm a very good person. This better age well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go across one genocide and it'll be like 15 okay. years later. Yep. <laughs> He said this, he was planning this. <laughs> this is I'm not joke. planning anything. <laughs> I'm weak. But okay, yeah. what would you do if you could go back in time and learn something sooner? And how would you change things? Hmm, learn something sooner. So, um, before I start acting, I dabbled in a lot of different things. I would say I wish I had learned acting a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I mean, I loved like the idea of being a child actor. Mm. So like, 
acting like, like since you were like, younger. really younger, it would have been really nice. So yeah, I'd say. Learn Did you to learn how to act? Like who taught you how to act? <laughs> YouTube. Ah, same. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I know about the art, YouTube. YouTube, uh, that's your friend. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Which world would you rather live in? Harry Potter or Twilight? Hmm. 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 I would say Twilight. Why? You want to be kissing Belle? Hmm? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be kissing Belle? I think, yes. I think Belle is very annoying. Well, it would still be nice. So would you have been the vampire guy or the wolf guy? Wolf. The wolf guy. Simply because I just like animals, furry animals. And it's I like think that. Vampires no, 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 no. Vampires don't have furs. They mm. just, and sunlight is to do them anyhow. Okay, ordinary sun are being like, you're sun, not even like, African anymore. I don't understand. I get that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, the vampires wolf. are known. God, me too actually no actually i think i'll be a vampire instead not necessarily because i care much about animals or fur but i was so into vampire diaries growing up that i was of like course. <laughs> so down <laughs> bro of i still course. do it at home though mm. would you rather live for another 80 years and never leave your house or live for another 10 years and be free to go wherever you want hmm. oh. 80 years Ten years. I'll, I'll, I'll pick 80 years hmm? and stay in my house. 80 years plus your current age. Your current age. So, so I'll be like 100 and... Ah. Come uh, on. But I mean, the idea of staying indoors though, because... I mean, because you like staying at home. I, feel I, like I know it's to go outside. I'm, oh. I'm only outside my house when I have to be on set or at the office to edit or something. Do you like that? Sometimes, yeah, I mean, I love being on sets. I mean, don't no, no, me. but do you like being by yourself most of the time? By myself. At home. I mean, are you there with your wife and kids? I like being by myself, but I don't like to be alone. Hmm. So what makes you feel the most alone? Welcome to my therapy session. <laughs> it's clear. I mean, it's just random, I know. Is this therapy? Or not? Uh, uh, mm, because I don't in the know. end, like, some people will be like, when they don't have physical company, they're alone. I mean, I like physical company, but like, I get, I don't know, the, I don't know, this, this social battery, if yeah, I can call quickly. it, it dies very fast. So mm. like, I, I, I do socialize, but then after like a few minutes, I'm like, I want to go home. I feel I like you're in the sleep. healthy middle. You're yeah, kind of like me. The middle, like, sometimes it's good to go outside, yeah, and other times like, you know, there's it's nothing like when outside. you're outside, you want to go inside, when you're inside, I think I should be outside. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. Mm, I get that. I get that. I would rather live for another 10 years. So you'd be going outside. But well, there's nothing outside, though. But I'm going to be out of here, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like, <laughs> Fair enough. This is ghetto. I'm sorry. I'm not suicidal. Just kidding. All right. Which would you prefer if you had the option of ceasing to exist or wandering the world forever, unable to engage with anything? Unable to engage? Ah. Like you can't, you're just caning up in this place, man. Would people know that I exist though? I mean, yeah. Hmm, I can't engage. You're just wandering, man, a wanderer. That, that's a tough no, one. No, kind of like a ghost. Okay. A ghost. Wandering the world forever, unable to engage hmm. with anything. You know, ghosts can't, like, everything yeah, they're real. They, they can't, can't, touch, they can't touch things. Uh, I'm a, I wonder. I, wonder. I, I was about to say, I think you're, you're, you're going to wonder. Because the question I asked before, you said you live for 80 years. You don't go come out to your house. I wonder. You must really like this earth. No, I way. actually do. I, don't yeah. give a, I do. That's lit. That's lit. I would prefer I had the option of season to exist. And why now? You no wonder. I don't wonder. I you wonder, can be wondering wonder, together. Wonder. <laughs> I can be worried to get over the world by myself. <laughs> Please, sir. I beg. I beg. Okay. No more bills, thank God. But why are you wondering? There won't be bills either. True, though. but you're just wondering, though. Mm. Forever. You're just going to be looking at strippers and you can't touch them. At all. That is true. I know, right? Get to look at them, though. Okay. I think I, I wonder, wonder, too. <laughs> <laughs> we wonder. Okay. <laughs> 
your offer the pill, right? That increases your intelligence by 50% more than it already is. But also permanently removes your hair, including your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> this man was like, the one we had I mean, hey, good. Do you okay. dare to take it? A pill? What's the other yeah, pill? Yeah, so it's a pill that increases your intelligence by 50% from what it currently is. Or yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It increases your intelligence by 50%, but, but it also permanently removes your hair, <sighs> including your eyebrows. Would you take it? Uh, but it uh, increases your intelligence by 50%. Yeah. So you're 50% smarter, but you're bald. I mean... To be fair... You're already smart. I'm already smart. <laughs> I knew, like, you're so predictable. <laughs> to be fair... I don't know, but people do tell me that I am smart. You are. So, for the level of smartness that I am right now, I think I will manage it and keep my hair. <laughs> <laughs> my guy just wants to keep plating his I'll hair, keep man. my hair. Because I'm, I'm already starting to struggle with this hairline that is looking like it's trying to, like, visit mm. the backside. So, it's like... Did you shade yourself, my brother? Yeah, I do that so that nobody can shade me. You cannot... I mean... You can't really shade me. What can you do that's going to pain me when I already... St- Turn it, to Turn it to yourself, I know, right? So, yeah. That's so hilarious. Okay, where would you like to live if you could relocate anywhere yet make a decent living? Decent living. Decent, so you're not a billionaire. You're just have enough to get you by. I'm not starving at least. At like, least so I starve. I mean, I've always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, anime guys. Is I'm a anime boy, so. <laughs> A lot of my answers will have elements and of that's animals. okay baby and i got okay. you thank you very much okay thank you very much most people think i'm weird why you i don't know i mean because i was an anime i started watching anime when anime wasn't really mainstream per mm, se so, i got that like, why you know, there are people that dress like anime characters megan the stallion is cool as hell i don't know if i want to start dressing like anime characters yet well you could I've, I've not seen the clothes that's why I, <laughs> I was about to say like if your wardrobe actually changes you will do it me, would, but yeah I've always wanted to go to Japan though because like but would you want to live in Japan though and learn Japanese and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. for funny funny thing is that for a period of my life I could actually like watch anime without subtitles in Japanese hey? like, I kind of like picked up oh yeah maybe they Japanese. speak they <laughs> no it's gone ah where did it go to most remember it don't worry remember we, remember we find a way to bring hey, it back. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we go continue what from there. Uh, anime, no that subtitle. Anime. Okay. Okay. Next question. Hanto, Hanto. Ohayo gozaimasu. You know that? You know that? If I want to act like I know Korean, I'm gonna just go. Can I your chupera? Can you move your Is that a song? I'm telling you. So I just sing the song, but like. Like I'm talking. The, 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 uh, what Japanese song do I know? I mean, most of them are the ones they use the Naruto. Oh my god, yeah. There's one Naruto theme song that I used to know though. Well, uh, oh, damn. I don't remember. Some of them are just <laughs> vanished from my head now. What historical figure would be the most terrifying ghost to encounter? Huh. Historical figure. Oh. Not just in Nigeria, like any crazy person in like history that you think would be a I very suck scary girl. Okay. That's okay. For now, off the top of my head, I'd say Hitler. I was just about to say that you man. Were thinking about Hitler. That man. Skr. Like girl. I feel like if if he comes back as a ghost, he'd be just as terrifying as he probably was in real life. Man, I hope I hope maybe in the ghost world, the guy just sits down or not in this life. Oh, make I just switch up, make I do Yahoo or something like. Because I'm um, uh, Adolf. Nah. Adolf, and another scary thing, his beard. What is that? Like imagine you wake up and you just see boom, <laughs> like that's your sleep paralysis demon, and he has that beard. Yeah. That beard is off. I nah. Don't know. My God, and that's Barbara. what Ashake did with his beard, though. Ashake did that? Like, we keep with the pop culture. He, he changed his beard shape now. <laughs> I don't know. Ashake, he, he, I mean, he didn't do Hitler, obviously. He didn't but go to the barber like... and be like, give me a Hitler. But <laughs> he, he shaved his beard 
and left only the mustache. I like it. Okay. Oh, I mean, I have to go and check Asha Kiss dude. Look then. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. That's the fact that you. Oh, uh, that was that was all probably dope. <laughs> well, is it not dope? So next question. <laughs> what would you do if you knew you'd go blind in three months? Is there something in particular you would like to see? Hmm. Something in particular. Oh, no. Or somewhere in particular that you want to see. Something somewhere. Japan. <laughs> uh, gotta go to Japan. Gotta go to Japan. I'll be boring money and go to Japan. Uh, okay, so if. Then go blind there. <laughs> I can't even speak Japanese. Okay, <laughs> what would you do if you could improve one aspect of yourself, but. Had to reduce another by the same amount. Hmm. I guess to reduce, to improve one aspect of myself and reduce. It's gonna be tricky. I would like to reduce. This is gonna sound co contradictory, but okay. bear with me. Reduce the pride. I'm mm. very proud, boy. Mm. But at the same time, work on my confidence. Hmm. Okay, I get that. So you can be a proud person, mm -hmm. but you think you're not confident. Yeah. So, what is the what is one moment that you feel you're not having confidence kind of showed? Does it really show majorly on dates? Because you're an actor, and for you to be an actor to an extent, you gotta have the charisma. Yeah, we have to. So you had the charisma on Netflix. Like, so that, that's, it. that's the funny thing is that every time I film, yeah, I film stuff and I, I go all out on my scenes. As soon as director heals cuts, You're I'm like asking show. my co-stars like, bro, did I do that scene well? Oh, did I do that well? Like, you. how was that? that? And they were like, no, 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 you did it well. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, and then I see it in the edit and I'll be like, eh, I did well. Sir, I get that. I, did, I mean, so yeah, that's it. So like, I'm still trying to find out how... You can be egotistical, but as but at, the same at the same time, like you're you you don't, you're not confident. That's I, so I, cute. I, I I think it's. I feel it like you're proud. I feel like maybe that could be stem from you're sure about who you are, like the fabric of your being, but you're not sure about things that you do. Yeah. <laughs> to put it simple. To put it simple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, right about now, I want to ask Kevin. Kevin. So never have I ever questioned. My bat. I'm going to tell the editor to appear the bat of my hand. So I'm going to go on a quick break. When I come back, I'm going to have the bat of my hand. And we're back. It just appeared. Um, yeah, Here you go. I was there. You were there. Uh -huh. I'm a magician. Nice. You didn't even... so All right. <laughs> That's all you have to do if you have, you gotta show me that you have. If you have not, you gotta show me that you have not, and a little story time shall follow. All right, let's get it. Never have I ever stolen anything. If you lie. You're ah, FBI, already. that's Zimo. Um, um, Popo, um, Klumpe. Is Zimo, is the one that tipped it. <laughs> I didn't tip anything, no. Actually, I did. What did you steal, though? But there's no evidence, no video evidence. A word? We never know. I feel like everybody, I wouldn't, let me not generalize like that. Because me now, I've never stolen in my life. Ever. Maybe Where, chicken. I mean, that, chicken. that, 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 that is still yeah. That That's, okay, never have I ever missed a flight. Missed a flight? I've not even. Um, flown before oh, really? so technically I have I, would you, do you think you'd be afraid of flying hmm huh. I wouldn't know but I'm not particularly afraid of heights okay so I feel like I'm but have you ever tried to internalize the idea of flying I think it's pretty crazy yeah I mean I went out aeroplane before it just didn't fly so I have thought nah. about flying I, f I feel like the, the idea of flying which is like a uh, very big vehicle soaring in the sky 
and I can't see the person that is soaring it for me. At least if you're an Uber now, you can see the person that is driving the car yeah, and you can tell him slow down or small small. Yeah, yeah, yes, that. But how if you want to tell a pilot to how are you slow gonna down? do that? And then when he starts shaking, what are you gonna do? If it so, drops, what are you gonna do? I can't relate to him because <laughs> I'm going to a plane. Now before I go on the plane, I literally like the first time I flew yeah. was 2022. Okay. I went to Ghana. Before I went on that trip, I literally was on Google for like a minute. I was like, things that can happen to make a plane crash. How to know a plane is crashing? Why a plane is shaking? Can a plane shake and not crash? What will happen if a plane should crash? Can you survive plane crash? Was have there been people that have very scary? And you know Google. Google gonna tell you you're gonna die. That's that's the annoying thing about Google, Google is gonna tell you like, you're gonna drop Google dead. Google will give you the negative what? stuff first. And they're usually not even very likely. Yes. But that's the first thing you see, like, yes, you can die from a plane crash. Whoa! Of course you can die, but I don't want you to tell me. Be nice. Google is so weird. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. Drunk dialed. Ah! I have not. I have as hell. That's my forte. Why? Why would you do that? Liquid courage, babe. Uh, <laughs> it's liquid courage. Like, what did I have to mind to say before? I'm going to say it. I'm gonna say it's me, small wine like this. In fact, I might not even be that drunk. I'll just say, oh my god, I'm so tipsy. <laughs> Hello? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I don't, even, I don't think I would even need to drunk text anybody. Cause you don't have an ex? Not because I don't have an ex. I have a couple. But. Okay, player. Yes, hmm. I'm very, a couple. I'm very I'm just good one ex. So. I'm a very good boy. But, but like um, I don't think I would need to drunk text anyone because. Norm- I, my normal text already seems like I could be drunk. I'm, I'm very unhinged. <laughs> the way it is in my head is how it, is how it comes okay, out. Okay, so you so don't like, wait till you're drunk to wait even say it, stuff. It, once it comes to my head, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, better man than me. See me? I'm a case. Like, literally. I wish this was not, like, there was no camera in front of me. So I should tell you. But I will never shame myself. Yeah, I think I want to tell you. Camera. Oh. Of oh, camera, I don't know what's wrong with me because there was even one day safe. Like, I'm not gonna <laughs> give a timeline. Forgot you were there. <laughs> no worry, I'll give you guys the truth. <laughs> but Kevin, yo, I was in the club, so I was actively getting drunk, right? And then you know, you're in the club, you're drunk, and drunkness in the club is crazy. Tell me why well, I won't call him my ex, right? But somebody that I used to deal with walked in and we had just stopped dealing with each other like two days before oh my god oh my god and the gag is it was because of me like i ended it why i don't even know don't even ask me but i just know that that was now when i thought okay maybe i should retract my statement because he looking too far he looked too good <laughs> so i had to just be like ah, so i'm drunk man was seeing me lying <laughs> that i'm drunk they're standing on my feet. Like, girl, you're not staggering. You're standing well. <laughs> Type in this. I can see you. And it was just like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> it was like, okay, you don't catch me. Don't catch me. Hell yeah. You don't catch me. <laughs> Never have I ever rode a bi- um, a motorcycle. I have not. I plan to. Mm. I don't know when. That thing is scary. Mm. Tell but me about I it. I can't ride a bike, though. A, a bicycle. Oh, okay. Maybe if it be the same thing, just with more no, it's not. mechanics. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. It, except if it's Okada. Have you already done Okada before? No, I've not Okada. No, oh, well, you've entered Okada now. I've entered Okada. So it's yeah. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever lost a bet. Lost a bet. Have I lost a bet? I don't know. I don't I do not do that. You don't bet. I don't. I don't. You don't bet with your guys. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Bet generally. Like bet in general, not sporty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because if it's sporty. I have. I'm not a sporty <laughs> better. Or don't hear me I out. I feel like everybody that does sporty has. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had this change that I would I was not using, and I was like, I wonder what sporty is. Like, like mm. what's 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 it, what's going on? Mm. So I said, let me go. Let's, I thought let's this see was what's going to be a big break. And I was like, okay, it's looking good. And then all of a sudden, pew, the money disappeared. And I was like, okay, I guess sporty is not for me. <laughs> you give up after first the first and last try? time ever. I ah, know, please. This economy is. is I too, get that. Is, to be honest, that's how a gambling shit. addiction starts because you'll be exactly. like, I think, I think I'll, I'll make my money back this, the next four bets. And then it never broke. stops. Everything is gone. Never stops. Can't do that. I'm sorry. I get that. Don't bet, guys. It's not good. 
Never have I ever gotten lost alone in a foreign country. Okay, you have a plan. I've known the have farthest I've gone is Ibadan. That's that's the farthest uh-uh. I've gone from. Have this you gotten lost in Ibadan? Hmm? Huh? What? Huh? Adibi? Did you? Hmm? Uh, no. Did you get lost to the battle? Lost? Uh, 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 did I? I mean, maybe, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I know it's a move. Again, I don't move. No, really move around like that. So like, it's You're more conservative. Oh my god, that's so cute, though. Because I could have sworn in high school you were going to be a bad boy. Me. A Talawa type. But thing. I was, I was kind of a good boy in school, though. I mean, it was when I entered. Wasn't like, your friend that was Mandela that boy? Yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. I'm not too bad to get an twins. <laughs> I have gotten lost in a foreign country, but I wasn't alone. Oh my god, but I've gotten lost in the market though. In this Lagos? Yes, in only one market. I was actually lost. This happened last week. I was afraid. I even tweeted it. I think I tweeted I was like, oh my god, not me being lost in this market. Why? Like, I was such a kid. <laughs> I'm not a kid. But literally, I tried to buy, I think I wanted to buy five pounds or something. I just moved. And then I followed one woman to one place that she said they are selling for cheap in the same market. Too, and it's told me to be maybe marking like, okay, this green clothes now is here. Let me turn right here. No, I just didn't follow and they go. I'm not going to shine. Let's look at buy. And then you're like, okay, how to I don't buy the five pound, but how to make it home, you know? Google Maps obviously didn't help me, but it was an Aboki shout to you. Thank you. For helping me Thank not get lost. <laughs> Never have I ever bribed someone. Huh. I, I don't, I'm, I'm too. Much you don't want to admit that already. you have bribed. Yeah. I think I have. You have. I just can't. Try remind you. Remember the situation. Try remind you. Yeah. You don't bribe me before. I have. Yes, now. Oh, that time. Yeah. yeah I'm an economical junior. It's to make money. You know, plans. See, um, I keep secrets for cash. This life is not balanced. It has a way of cancelling <laughs> this thing <laughs> off. Because I don't understand. They're going to give me back all that money. You know. Never have a life. 200 naira. You know, if you bribe me, you know, 10 naira. Please. Now. Never have I ever broken a bone. A bone? I have. What did you do? So, I am a fanatic for throwing myself in the air, spinning around and landing back on my feet like it's a cool thing. Backflip, backflips. And um, yeah, I did one and was too confident in myself. I tried to do it. One time you brought out your confidence, yeah, you broke like, your leg. I broke my right leg till today. It's not, I mean, I can, it's better now, but I couldn't run for the first inter-house sport in school that time. Oh, it was yeah. that period. So that is that's actually so crazy though. That that was why that was you were just randomly flipping I for flipped, free. Broke my knee Kevin. and um yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Thankfully our house still won't so yeah. Never have I ever lived alone. Lived alone, I have. Mm, how was that? It was it was nice. Mm, what was your favorite part about living alone? Being by myself. <laughs> Shocking. I was in school and okay. um I stayed in the school's hostel, mm-hmm. but all my roommates were big boys, so mm. they stayed off campus. They never even moved in. Oh, ah, so you, my God, you're so lucky. In the whole room. So, yeah. What uni did you go to? I don't go to uni, I go to Polytechnic. Okay, okay. Yeah. Could I have slid? Polytechnic, Ibado. That's why I said that. Oh, okay, okay. Ibado. There's no way you were not lost in that Ibado. You're just packaging for all these parties that what you just said. <laughs> Ibado. Do you want all the. No, Ibadan. I'm, I'm gonna say anything. I think I've even gotten lost in Ibadan and I've only been there once. No, well, I've been there multiple times if you exclude my childhood. If you include my childhood. Um, well, in I, 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 even that Ibadan safe, I don't it's not very it's not very easy to get lost in that Ibadan though. Mm. Per se. Uh, maybe because me, whenever I'm in a place I've never you know, been before, I'm always dropping landmarks. Mm, fair, so fair. Like, I'm not so good with directions. Last, I'll find so. where I went last. You should try it sometimes. Just okay, I'm no. passing here. This building is yellow. That's the thing. Like that's what I tried to do at the market that day. But like I you didn't can't find the market. Well, yeah. I was trying to do like the green clothes, the you know, that you basket. Don't use, don't use the I was lost, man. Use the building. <laughs> Cause I think somebody bought the clothes, like so where <laughs> someone was somebody for that bought the clothes. Like where is the green your dress now? <laughs> Took my landmark out of the market. It's so fucking annoying. Okay. So now, like I mentioned in the intro, he's a superstar actor. Like, no, be, no, be, eh. 
It's not beans, baby. Please. <laughs> so, um, how was filming Madame Coin Coin? Were you scared? Hmm. I wasn't scared. I was. Coin Coin was quite scary. Mm, it was not that scary, you know. How will it be? Where are you the ones spread it? <laughs> mm. Please. I'm still trying to wash that stigma off. I'm so sorry, it's on Netflix. Oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> but what was filming it like? Well, yeah, fi well, so I wasn't scared filming. I just was slightly intimidated hmm. because for me at the time, that was like my first. The first mm. big project that I'd ever acted on, and then I was working with Irriti Doyle and, mm. and like all these people I used to see on television. When yeah, I, was younger. I get that. I, was like, ah. um, uh, mm. I remember Irriti actually was asking us, um, So, have you done this before? Have you done this before? And I was like, No, but like, not on this case. She was like, All these actors, you should be confident in yourself. Mm. Say yes, you've done it before. You've acted. I said yes, man. And he said, Hey, now, so why are you telling me you have acted? And I was like, Irriti Doyle is giving me this kind oh of. Oh my god, talk. a pep talk, it's, yeah. <sighs> It felt nice. And then even my co-stars, Suchuks, Timmy Dayo, I mean, all of us, we were, we kind of already, Did you guys like, know, know each other before? We met at the audition. Oh, okay. Some of us met at the audition. Some of, some of them, I think Chooks and Eiji already knew themselves before the audition, but we, being together, we met there. And then, while we weren't filming, we were always playing around in each other's rooms. We'd mm. go to, the, we, 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 always, we were in Chooks' room the most. Everyone got our tricks from. We, we read our scripts, look at our characters. After breaking our characters, we start playing. Mm. We go out, go shopping, come back. Next day, we're on set. So it was actually really fun. But then Chooks was also such a good actor that even he himself was kind of intimidating. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Chooks is a good actor. Such a good actor. And I think, <clears throat> so I think it's like you said a couple million questions ago, it's attached to your confidence. But confidence is something that can be worn. For lack of a better word yeah. so it's a thing where confidence is kind of like lagos fake it till you make it facts like i haven't always been confident remember me in um secondary school now? i, I mean i was the head girl but how many times will I, was i actually like yeah. talking in front of people or being the one to talk in front of the class but to be fair i was always like taking up head girl roles but i yeah, was yeah. doing it because i had to not because you wanted to. Not because I wanted to. Because I wasn't always confident. And do you know what the gag is? I haven't always liked my body. Do you understand? Yeah. And imagine on one side you don't like your body and the other side you're on TV. So how, how are you actually going to do it? It's crazy so I mentally. faked it. Sometimes I still fake it to this day. And I feel really? like you're an actor. Faking it won't be hard. Uh, that's what we do for a living. Do you understand? Pretending is exactly. how, we, how we survive. Exactly. So when you Literally. stretch into a room that you need to be confident, just tell yourself. To break it up. Literally, an alter ego. Solomon. I'm like, you can call him Solomon with a deep voice. You know? And then I just walked in. Right, you know? right. And then Solomon just took over the room. How are you, a lady? You know? Put on the persona and it will work. It's just that when you go back and you're like, oh, wow, what was that? Lord, I can relate. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna do that when I get home right now. Cause I'm gonna be on my go my shirt, my head. Jesus, that look <gasps> nice. <laughs> ah, but you're gonna be okay. That was something. Was, but um, Madam Kwaka, like you just said, is a major one that you had, and you're also on, um, kidnapped on Showmax. Yeah. What was that like? So, the story behind kidnapped is very very funny. I haven't even told anybody this, but the only people that know were those that worked on kidnapped. S so my role on Kidnap was MJ, the friend to the main character. On the set of Kidnap, I was just on that set for DIT. I wasn't acting on that set because I also edit films. And okay. I was just like doing the edits for the Kidnap film on the set. And then the actor that was supposed to come in for MJ got sick or something. So he couldn't come that day and it cost like an hour downtime. And the producer was like, Meet. There's an actor in the, in the hotel. Kevin, Alpha, wear shirt. Come to the set. You have MJ you? now. I mean, like, oh, man, I wore my shirt. <laughs> Came downstairs. <laughs> went into costume. Got, got into the costume and everything. And he then, became Michael Jackson. Just kidding. Right. Just kidding. <laughs> the only thing was that because 
I didn't think I was going to act in the film. It was quite challenging for me to like get the lines of the character, but mm. over time, you kind of got into it. Got into it. And you killed it. MJ. Shout out to MJ Macajaco. I love that. <laughs> so um, I think we've come to the end of the podcast. So soon. I know. Right? Wow. It's like, oh, yeah, my like, God. Can we do like one more hour? Of, like, <laughs> no. No. Why oh, would it off camera? No. Okay, we'll, we'll do part two. Don't worry. Watch out for. Well, thank you so much for pulling up, Kelvin. Thank you for so me. good to meet. Who is Kelvin? Sorry. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm such I'm a. Not, I will call you out now. <laughs> I'll write. <it> to you. <gasps> yes. Oh, just that. Okay, I'm sorry, Kevin. So now we can hold each other hostage. I'm May. Thank you. And over to you. I will be talking to you again at the new episode. You're on Pop Central, and this is Claire's deck. I'm out. Bye.